We are told to seek first the kingdom of God, not seek first marriage. Finding fulfillment in God is the most powerful antidote to any sin. The first line of defense against toxicity in the world must therefore be launched by believers who practice self-control. When God does not supply our motivation, we tend to major in the minors and minor in the majors. Marriage is not meant to make us happy, but to make us holy. Love is a choice, not just a feeling. A strong marriage requires daily acts of love, kindness, and sacrifice. The key to a successful marriage is selflessness. Prayer is essential for a healthy and thriving marriage. Marriage is a lifelong journey of learning and growing together. Conflict in marriage can be an opportunity for growth and deeper intimacy. God should be at the center of your marriage. Cherish your spouse and they will feel loved. Forgiveness is a cornerstone of a strong marriage. In case you've never thought about it, a woman's body changes much more rapidly than her character does. Our battle is today because of God's grace. Yesterday doesn't count because of God's hope. Worry about tomorrow is inappropriate. Lying about what you want out of marriage going in because you're afraid you'll lose the relationship if you are honest is one of the worst kinds of fraud you could ever commit. Any mature, spiritually sensitive view of marriage must be built on the foundation of mature love rather than romanticism, but this immediately casts us into a countercultural pursuit. When we focus on what we can do, it's amazing how little time we have left to become consumed by our disappointments.